To wrap up this module, let's do a quick review of some of the things we've learned about. First off, you've seen that Microsoft Graph provides a unified API that can be used to access data and intelligence stored throughout your organization. That allows you to access data in Microsoft 365, you can access device information, and much, much more. By using tools such as Microsoft Graph Explorer, you can learn how to make calls, get that data you need, and then pull it into your custom applications. We'll be learning more about that in the upcoming modules. Now, as a developer, this means you can learn a single endpoint as opposed to learning many individual service-specific APIs. That's a big deal because we don't want to have to worry about learning a mail-specific API and then maybe a calendar-specific API. It'd be nicer to just learn one, and that is Microsoft Graph, to be able to get data from a variety of sources. And then finally, we know that with Microsoft Graph, you can enhance new or existing applications and automate workflows. You can also increase efficiency and productivity by tapping into data that employees need. You can include this type of data and intelligence in your own custom apps by calling the APIs that we saw in Microsoft Graph Explorer. And later you'll see that through using client libraries, we can actually make these calls using your chosen programming language and framework. So that's a wrap on this first module. In the next module, you'll learn about a JavaScript application, how to register that in Azure Active Directory, and make your first Microsoft Graph call.